perfect for Valentine's Day. I've been talking with my therapist lately about... I'm so superstitious. Good morning. Happy, what's today? Thursday, February 1st. Wait, rabbit, rabbit. I didn't say rabbit, rabbit. Fuck. I'm so superstitious. I always say rabbit, rabbit at the beginning of every month. It's supposed to be like the first words you say out of your mouth. Clearly I missed that, but it's just supposed to bring good luck. So I always try to do that at like midnight on the first of each month. Whew. Anyway, it's 10 o'clock right now. I'm working from home this morning and then I have an event I'm going to at one o'clock and then I am nannying later today at four. So this morning was very productive. I already ate breakfast. I took auto out. I edited a YouTube video for Megan and now I'm just going to get ready for the day. I just washed my face. I have a Zoom call in 15 minutes with Megan for content planning and then she said she wants to go over productivity and how we can improve for the month of February. I'm just gonna do my skincare so that when I'm off the call with her, I can do my makeup and then head to the event. So I'm gonna use Hyaluronic Acid Serum from the Inky List. My skin has been feeling super dry lately. It's cold this week in Miami and I know no one wants to hear that if you actually live somewhere where the winter season is in full effect right now but it's freezing like I had to go out this morning in like a sweatshirt and sweatpants which is crazy for Miami it's like in the 50s but it's honestly refreshing I don't like summer weather I don't like being hot unless I'm like at the beach so it's actually like I'm getting my fall fix right now caffeine eye cream also by the inky list I like to wear just like super hydrating products, especially if I'm gonna be putting on makeup later today. I don't wear makeup during the week normally. Like I literally only wear makeup maybe like once a week and if it's like for content, if I need to take content or something. Otherwise, I'm rocking a bare face. I wouldn't say it's because I'm like super confident without makeup because I'm not, but it's more just like I hate the feeling of makeup on my skin like I just hate it sometimes and I only like wearing it if it's absolutely necessary Lala's forget the filler skin plumping line smoothing perfecting cream and it's pink so February 1st pink moisturizer love it the event I'm going to later is for pretty little thing the clothing brand and they have a showroom in Miami Beach and I got invited to go check it out. I'm, I don't know what to expect. I think we're going to be able to get some clothing on them so I'm excited and I just want to see how cute it is in there. I'm sure everything's going to be super cute. Let my skincare marinate and my hair is disgusting right now so we are going to slick it back. Normally I like to slick it back with a hair mask or hair oil but I ran out of my rosemary oil that I use for like hair growth. So I'm just gonna do gel today. This is Garnier Clean Pure Styling Gel. I mean, we all know how to do a slick back hairstyle. It's not rocket science, but I just scoop all the gel on the top part of my hair, some on the underside of my hair as well. And I use a bristle brush like this and just comb my hair back. I used to wear my hair slicked back and gelled like this every day in seventh grade and I was scarred from doing that. Cause I looked back and was like, what the hell was I doing? I look so bald. I look like a boy. And when slick backs like came back, I was like, no, I'm absolutely not doing that. I refuse. But it's just such a go-to hairstyle, especially in the humidity. And also my hair's so thick, like look at my pony. It's so thick. So I, what I usually like to do is a braid because I just think the pony is too much going on. My arms, oh my God, they're on fire when I do this. I swear, it's like a workout. I use a little clear elastic. And I like the braid to look a little rough, like I used to have hairs 
sticking out and stuff, but I kind of like it to look a little messy. Whatever. There's the updo for today. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Getting glue out of my eyeballs. Oh, to... no. Your makeup looks good though. Well, actually, it might take like an hour. Do you have like an hour ish? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. All right, I'm off my Zoom call and I just did some more work for Megan and it's now 11.30, so I need to do my makeup. Ashley's picking me up in an Uber at 12.30 because the event is at one. Oh my God, it's freezing in my apartment for some reason. Oh, I'm gonna do my makeup since I did my skincare. Let's do Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. Really excited for valentine's day me and ryan normally we'll just do like go out to dinner or something but obviously we're trying to save money for our wedding this year so we're not doing any extra stuff like that as of lately we're gonna have a cute little date night at home i want to either make like homemade heart-shaped pizzas or like spicy vodka pasta or just like a nice meal together maybe make a nice valentine's day cocktail or something and then we actually made two ring appointments we need to go wedding band shopping fun fact we actually did not go engagement ring shopping together so i kind of missed out on that experience so i really wanted to make wedding band shopping a priority well, i'll explain this more in my wedding series i'm super excited for our valentine's day date last year we went to blue ribbon sushi which was a really good sushi spot in Miami Beach. And then we went to the Kip after and walked along the beach and it was such a special Valentine's Day. If you're looking for Miami Rex, I recommend that restaurant. I've been getting a lot of DMs recently about my favorite spots in Miami. And I just wanted to remind you guys that I did make a dedicated YouTube video on it. I feel like it's just so much easier. There's so many places I recommend that I can't just like explain it in a DM. I'll give people like my initial restaurants that come to my head, but if you want a more DM detailed itinerary of where I go in Miami. I do have a dedicated video on that. And I'm wearing this sweater dress from Princess Polly. I just filmed a video on my Princess Polly selects for January. So go check that out. So many cute winter items, spring items, Valentine's Day date night items. Oh, our electric bike got stolen again, just for a little chit chat catch up time. That happened maybe a couple weeks ago. And this was the second time we had bought an e-bike. The first time it got stolen out of our apartment, like our apartment garage. This time it got stolen out in Brickle. Ryan drove it to go play basketball. He plays in a basketball league and he parked it on a bike rack outside of the gym. And I guess the bike rack was a little bit broken. Like it came up out of the ground a little bit. He didn't realize and they got the lock off and literally smashed his air tag, took the air tag off and everything. So that is the second time it freaking got stolen for us. So we're done buying them now. It's such a shame because we were enjoying it so much. Brian was bringing me to work all the time. We were saving so much money on Ubers and it's just fun. Really, really disappointed about that. We are getting our money back through renter's insurance because it is under our renter's insurance, but just so insane those are like the most stolen item in miami and we really thought we were being smarter about it this time it really really sucks oh i love this i'm using these armani beauty eye tints this one's really pink it glittery like super pretty guys i have five weddings this year including my own and they're all in the same time frame like summer to fall and i am extremely freaking out about it i don't know how i'm gonna afford it and they're not just like weddings that I can skip. Like they are literally my best friends. Ryan's a groomsman in two of them. Like I, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I feel like everyone has that one year where like all their friends get married and it's such a blessing and it's so fun. But at the same time, it's like, I genuinely don't know how I'm going to afford this with my own wedding because I can't even afford my own wedding. And then the bachelor parties that go with the bachelorette, bachelorette parties, my own bachelorette party, all the stuff I have to go home and do for my own wedding. Like I am, I want to cry. I would rather be busy than not busy. So 
it's all good things all good stuff going on it's cool that this event is during the day or i don't even know it's not really like an event it's a showroom but i like going during the day instead of at night it's just a different kind of different kind of vibe hope you all have an amazing month i know valentine's day can be holidays in general valentine's day can be hard for people especially if you're like not in a romantic relationship i know people dread it but i just i love having something to look forward to and celebrate and even if i wasn't in a relationship i feel like i've always kind of liked valentine's day it's just it's an opportunity to celebrate yourself like take yourself on a little date take yourself to the movies or take yourself out to dinner it's not weird to eat alone just pamper yourself dress up maybe just have a self-care night do something with your girlfriends make it a month of love for yourself for your friends it doesn't have to be a romantic love spend time with your family and just romanticize your life really oh blush i'm missing blush i was like i know something something's off all right here's some blush uh, i've been talking with my therapist lately about that actually like showing yourself the love that you deserve rather than seeking it in other people and i got really emotional just saying like i've gotten in this routine where it's really hard to show myself that love especially if you're not going to get any type of validation out of it she was like let the validation be how good you feel after and like sometimes we don't think about the after and how we're going to feel if we do something obviously my whole life is on social media so i feel like sometimes i get caught up in like doing things for social media or doing things because other people will see it like for example she's like oh well you always get your nails done and i'm like yeah and it's because i get an extra validation out of it where like oh people will see me with my nails done and be like oh she looks clean and put together and like i make content out of it so like that's something easy to take care of myself versus something like brushing my teeth at night if i go to bed and don't brush my teeth it doesn't matter because no one's gonna know no one's gonna see it but at the end of the day those little things that you do for yourself like brushing your teeth are going to make you feel good and make yourself feel like a priority and like you deserve to do these things for yourself just kind of a different mindset that i am trying to embody right now especially with valentine's day coming up and giving myself the love that i deserve that i'm not trying to project onto other people if that makes sense my closet is a mess let me clean this up real quick all my jackets are just like thrown on the floor i want to pick out a bag i'm wearing this all brown dress so i don't know what goes I could wear a brown bag and make it really brown, but I think that would be weird. I, I have silver accessories on, so maybe I'll do the silver bag, but I feel like I use that so much. High heels on my tippies. Yeah, I'm wearing these bangles, so I feel like the silver bag actually will look cute. Make it a little more dressed up. You're vlogging. I am. Wait, that's so cute. Oh, I don't know how I'm gonna pick. I love. Okay, 
Oh yeah, when we did the pink night, that was so fun. I forgot about that. Hello, happy Friday, February 2nd. I have a string on me, what is going on? I'm doing my makeup. It's 6.58, it feels like it's 10 p.m. I had to just get myself off of the couch and commit to going out. I worked all day at Mimi Yoga. Um, I did the morning shift today and the morning shifts are fine, but like they're kind of chaotic and I've been up since 5 a.m. because I have to be at the studio at 6.20 in the morning and then I was there till four. I got home at four and then I was like doing more work when I got back and I had promised my friend Ashley that I would go out with her and I was really regretting it laying on the couch. I had an awful day at work. I just want to like hang out with Ryan. I haven't seen him all week I feel like. And tomorrow's Saturday I'm working a double. I'm working at Mimi again eight to two and then I'm babysitting four to like midnight probably. And then Sunday, I'm also working at Mimi, working eight to two again. So I've just been like working every single day, nonstop. And I'm not complaining because I need the money and I'm glad I have work. I'm like thankful to have the jobs that I have. But at the same time, I'm just like so tired. You know, when you're just so freaking tired and I'm just trying to balance my life and like have a social life and I'm a mess. Honestly, this will probably be my last little thing of the vlog because I'm not gonna vlog my day at work and I'm working the entire rest of the weekend. But yeah, I don't know where the night is going to take us tonight. I wanted to go to happy hour. It's a little late for happy hour. So I think we're gonna go to socialista. But yeah, we went to the pretty little thing showroom yesterday, which was really cool. And I wanna show you guys one of the outfits I chose this into a good night i'll vlog because vlogging always puts me in a good mood we're doing another slick back braid because i put i just put this deep conditioning mask in my hair the bondi boost overnight magic hair mask i put this in and leave it overnight whenever i my hair is greasy and it's like that time where i'm going to do a slick back i'll slick it back i did just put some gel in it to touch up the hair so they stay all night but normally i'll just do oil and like the conditioning mask. I also had a stressful fucking day at work and I ripped off. Sorry, I'm like swearing a lot. I don't like swearing on my channel. <laughs> That's just the week I've had. Um, I ripped off all my nails at work. I had these long, beautiful navy blue nails. Ripped them off. It was time, like I had them for over a month. But I was stressed and one started to peel off and I started picking at them, so now I have no nails. I wanted to show you YSL Beauty sent me these beautiful little lippies. Perfect for Valentine's Day. This one's like a deep kind of ruby red shade. Beautiful. And this one's more pink. I wanna, I haven't tried this out yet. So since I'm doing my makeup, I'll try it out. I'm gonna use this Tower 28, Tower 28 liner, dark. Oh, whoa, it's like really creamy. I thought it was going to be more of like a matte. Wow. That's really creamy. I actually love that way. I did not expect to love it because I'm not really a lipstick girl. This was like out of my comfort zone, but it's so buttery and smooth and soft. Love these. So cute. Okay. Dark now, but I think... I'm just not feeling myself right now. I am not feeling this night out, guys. Ashley, I don't know if you watch my vlogs, but if you're watching this, you better appreciate me coming out because I was so content on the couch, but I'm doing this for you. I am always that friend where if you cancel plans on me, you don't have to worry about me being upset. I will be 1000% like okay with it. I'm sure Ashley wouldn't actually care if I didn't come out, but I just feel bad because I like promised her I would come out. So I feel like I have to stick to my word. All right, oh, let me put on this outfit. I look like an egg. It's like a little leather pleated skirt with a big chunky belt. And then a corset, leather corset. It's kind of like a greenish brown leather. I don't know if it's picking up, but I think it's so flattering. It almost looks like a dress. I think I'm gonna wear these blue 
heels because I think they're fun. Blue heel. I feel like I need a pop of color heel with it. I'm just going to wear this. Someone called me. Who called me? Oh, our food's here. 